Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Wolf, the sophomore film directed by Natalie Bancari, uh, which premiered at the 2021 Toronto International Film Festival and is being released December 3rd, 2021, courtesy of Focus Features. Uh, of course, it's not to be confused with the 1994 Mike Nichols film. Uh, this is a high concept art house film uh, about a young man named Jacob, played by George McKay who you might know from uh, The True History of the Kelly Gang, which is excellent, uh, or 1917, or Captain Fantastic. Uh, Jacob believes he's a wolf, uh, and it turns out he's suffering from a condition known in this film as species dysphoria, and his family carts him off to an institute uh, run by a nurse and a doctor, uh, played by Eileen Walsh and Patty Considine, who's called the zookeeper, uh, who seemed to have gone to the Nurse Ratchet School of Medicine. Uh, there, Jacob meets a bunch of other young-ish people who also have species dysphoria, but each believing they're a different kind of animal. And there, they find themselves involved in activities that are supposed to uh, persuade them to recapture their humanity, if you will. Uh, Jacob starts to have feelings for a young woman there named Celine, played by Lily Rose Depp, who believes she's a wildcat, but whose parents abandoned her. And she's kind of progressed enough to be in a weird, uh, uh, like a weird nether region limbo of being part of the staff and yet a patient herself. Uh, and of course, that all goes predictably, especially as Patty Constantine becomes more and more over the top as the zookeeper, more and more abusive. Uh, and it seems as if the film is trying to make a statement about, you know, like uh, gay conversion therapy and how if you don't adhere to social norms, there are certain conservative groups that will try to uh, recondition you to be in fitting, be, be fitting socially. Uh, but then it doesn't quite work here considering some of these people believe they're dangerous animals that you know would harm themselves or others. Uh, it, it seems like there are strange mixed messages going on, none of them that, the, that seem to work, as if this should have been kind of a short film that was a little more ambiguous, uh, that might have led to more interesting discussions than what this film does, which just seems like a, a kind of a basic love story about two people stuck in a toxic environment. Um, it feels like if Yorgos Lanthimos were trying to do One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and it doesn't sound, that's not as interesting as, the film is nowhere near as interesting as that uh, suggests. Instead, it, it, it feels like it leaves itself open to comedy, uh, as if uh, this could have been Strangers with Candy, uh, an episode on that series in the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, overall, I would give Wolf one and a half out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.